in this model i have uh, already removed lot of muscles the superficial ones to show the masticate muscles of mastication uh, so that i can show the masticator space okay so on the left side i have removed few teeth i have removed all the superficial muscles so now you can see this is the masseter muscle okay attached on the angle of the mandible and above on the zygomatic bone this is temporalis muscle okay and this is the medial pterygoid muscle attached on the angle of the mandible inner side and also the super superior part is attached where on the the superior part is attached on the sphenoid bone the lateral uh, lateral pterygoid plate part of sphenoid bone okay so on the medial side the medial pterygoid is attached on the medial side and on the lateral side of that plate uh, that lateral pterygoid plate what is attached on the lateral side it's lateral pterygoid muscle okay so the lateral pterygoid muscle have got attachments on the uh, condyle of the mandible one side here and on the other side it have got attachment on the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate okay so the now the coming to the masticator space what is the masticator space the masticator space is uh, ev every all the space like it's it's, it's uh, you can say uh, it's addition of two three different different spaces so first uh, between a masseter and uh, masseter and the mandible okay between masseter and the mandible you have got some space that is uh, sub masseteric space okay so this space okay between masseter and mandible the sub masseteric space and here you have got the pterygo mandibular space between medial pterygoid and the mandible okay i'll zoom out a bit so that you can see the things so that's the pterygo mandibular space and lateral side you have got sub masseteric space and this space the one over the temporalis muscle is superficial temporal space and one which is deep to that okay deep to that is infra temporal so this is temporalis muscle here so the space which is over here is infra temporal space okay so this infra temporal space communicates with what communicates with the pterygo mandibular space right so now looking from posteriorly you can make out that this is the pterygo mandibular space this is sub masseteric space here the infra temporal space and that meets the what the pterygo mandibular space now 